Hello Sickness, my old friend. Alright, so yeah, again, this is my appearance for like five videos in a row because I'm still sick. So, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a channel update uh, for 2020. So, I'm closing in on a thousand subscribers. Definitely not going to get there before 2019's out. That, there's no way that's possible, but I am definitely closing in on a thousand. As a thank you to you all for supporting me, for riding this movie train as long as you have, first of all, Thank you. You guys mean a lot to me. Second of all, I have a couple of videos planned for when I reach a thousand subscribers. Maybe something involving all of these in back of me. So I have that planned. Also, I want to start a Patreon. Once I hit 1,000, maybe 1,500, maybe 1,500 subscribers, I'll start that. I think I'm leaning more towards starting that at a thousand. Just so you guys like, because I want to do more stuff. Like I want to, I want to film in Best Buy, like Blu-ray hunting or you know Blu-ray hauls or something, and maybe make those exclusive to Patreon or something like that. So that's why I really want to start a Patreon. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do other than that. Maybe if I put like video game reviews, like exclusive on there or something, or like TV show reviews exclusive on there or something. Well, we'll see. I'm still trying to figure that out, but I definitely want to do a Patreon at some point in 2020. Just not sure when it's gonna happen. Also, my rating system. So I give each movie a grade. Um, I'm planning on doing away with that. I think I might make it. We, my buddy and I, had talked about a change to my rating system or my grading scale uh, at some point last year. He was thinking, yeah, you should do like popcorn-based ratings or something like that because I love popcorn. So I might do that. I might just get rid of the rating system altogether or the grading system or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, for movies I really love, I'll probably keep like the A+. Plus, and then for movies I totally despise, I'll probably keep the F. For the sake, if I, for the sake of the James Bond reviews, just to stay consistent, I will keep that grading scale intact for that series of reviews. And I'll do a grade when No Time to Die comes out, just just so it has consistency, because I like consistency, and my OCD will not tolerate any differences or any changes to that scale whatsoever. For if I already started a series, like if I like right now, I have Doctor No, I'm, I'm I should have From Russia with Love out as well, but like from Goldfinger on. If it's if it's just me saying, oh yeah, like here's here's this based on my popcorn rating, and then. Dr. No and from Russia with Love just have the A to F grading scale. It, 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 it's going to feel weird to me. So so I think for the sake of consistency, I'm going to keep the James Bond ones with the grades. But everything else, I'm either going to do away with the grades or I'm going to come up with a rating system based on, like, popcorn. I, it, I That doesn't really make that much sense, but... You'll understand when you see, and if you do see a new rating system, you'll understand what it is. And I'll explain it a little bit more. I think the highest one I came up with was Bucket of Buttery Popcorn was like the best movie. The movie I didn't like was just stale or something. So, I mean, it might just might just be those two. Or like, I'll probably just go with bu full bucket of buttery popcorn, half bucket of popcorn, and then stale popcorn. And then A plus and F. So probably something like that, you know. Just keep those five grades, those three popcorn grades. Makes sense. I love popcorn. So also, I also want to get more into letterboxed and written reviews. Like letterboxed and IMDb written reviews. Also more Stardust reactions. I've been slacking a lot on those. I haven't been slacking on letterboxed in terms of rating the movies. I've been slacking in terms of writing written reviews. I just really don't have the time. They are a bit time consuming. Sometimes, sometimes if I have a lot to say about a movie, I usually write it out on Letterboxd first and then use that as the basis to my videos. I'll, m most of the time, I just go with these right off the top of my head and then I write. And then if I do write a review, I'll do it after. But there are a couple, I think you can, guys can kind of notice, where I am going based off my Letterboxd written review. So I want to do more of those. I'm going to post those on Letterboxd, post those on IMDb, and I want to do more Stardust reactions uh, because I, I think Stardust is a good platform. I think it's especially in terms of when social media embargoes lift because that's I think that's a I consider Stardust a social media platform. So that would be a good way if 
because I want to try and follow all the social media embargoes and review embargoes. So if the social media embargoes lift for a certain movie, you can see my first thoughts there, and maybe that will be something that'll be on my Patreon as well. So as of every year, I do get to, I do try and see as many movies as I can. I can't see every movie in the theater, but if there are movies that I do see either late in the theater or at some point during the year on like iTunes or if I buy the Blu-ray and I didn't didn't watch it in the theaters. I'm going to do a review segment similar to what Chris Stuckman does, his quick movie reviews, but I don't want to copy that name. I'll just call it, I'll just call that segment like late to the party where I just review a bunch of movies in succession really quick. And stay tuned for another segment, roasting movies. I already did a movie roast with my cousin Pat a couple years ago with the Super Mario Brothers movie. I've been telling myself I gotta do more of them. I just haven't had the time to do them, but I want to do them. And originally it was called Movie Roast of the Month. I was going to do one every month. But I'm just going to call it Roasting Movies and just do them when I have time. Because I think that that would be a really fun segment. Try and do some some original stuff for my channel. And maybe you'll see some ranking videos at some point next year. I'm going to try and do all that because I know a lot of people do all that. It's just, it's just a matter of time with all of this. These are all my plans. This is all the stuff I want to do. I might have to incorporate it later in the year when I find more time, but all of this is going to be time consuming, but I really, but these are my plans and I want to stick to these plans. These are my goals, my new year's resolution for this channel in 2020. So I hope you guys really enjoy. I hope you, this is a channel update for you. I hope you guys really enjoy my new content. I'm going to be pump, pumping out. You'll see, you'll see some differences, but I hope you enjoy those differences. I want some feedback on those differences. So you guys are the best. Thank you for watching. I will leave my link to my website in the description below. All my social media links are there. You can find me on all those. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere.